This is impressive. Like if, if this accomplishes anything, it, it accomplishes the impressive feat of making Regage on page boring. I don't know how you no. do it. We are playing catch up with the gray man on Netflix, which feels like a sequel to Red Notice. Yeah, I, it's like net, <laughs> the, the, the Netflix all-star action movie is becoming a genre unto itself and one that I don't care for. Lloyd, I got an urgent locate and destroy. That could be fun. The man's got some street cred. So Ryan Gosling stars as Six. He is a guy who um, was recruited out of prison uh, by by Billy Bob Thornton to basically disappear and go off the grid and have no identity and become a CIA agent. A, he became a gray man, as it were. Um, and uh, he is you know, sent around the globe to kill people and do things like that. So he's on a gig in Bangkok and uh, is about to shoot someone who he's told is a bad guy, but then there's a kid involved and he doesn't kill kids. And so he doesn't quite do the thing as it goes. He does finally corner the target who tells him, I'm four and we're all screwed here and they're coming to get you. And this is not about me being a bad guy. This is about me having info on Regé Jean Page, who is like this higher up at the CIA. So Regé Jean Page hires Chris Evans, who is this, sociopath who got kicked out of the cia but now can do all of the dirty work without the governmental oversight and he's a, a sadist uh, and a snappy dresser with a doofy mustache <laughs> and um you've seen this movie ten thousand times you know it's the rogue agents chasing each other and the who can you trust and the nana de armas is in there and it, i i within like 20 minutes i was like this is what we're doing really and it's it's not well shot. The nope. movie is murky. The action sequences are for the most part uninspired. Uh, it's directed by the Russo brothers who were very successful TV directors and did very well within the fold of the Marvel movies, which again, I think those are kind of more of the for hire gig side. And now that they're on their own, they give us movies like cherry and this. <laughs> so it's not looking good guys. Um, yeah. I, I, I thought this was a big, waste of time and a waste of really talented cast members and, and just a disappointment all around it's just so smug and it's so mm. cynical and it's like people making little quippy asides to each other in the midst of you know violent shootouts or you know fist fights or whatever they're hitting each other with and or car chases like we're going to talk about bullet train. I was just going to say. <laughs> We're going to talk about bullet train later this week. I think you and I might not necessarily be on the same page on bullet train, but it's a similar kind of formula where it's like characters who are in the midst of life or death situations, like serious peril, really elaborate action sequences. And they take the time to say something really like, woohoo, aren't we cute to each other? And I feel like bullet train does all that a bit better than the gray man i found the gray man just to be like soulless and empty and insufferable and yeah and <laughs> and it's the same movie for like two plus hours straight like it mm. never evolves nobody evolves the thing that they're all after is just the ultimate macguffin and kind of a cliched macguffin like the thing that yeah. the thing the little locket with the info on it feels so stale like yeah. that's the thing that they're after, like secrets about rogue activity within the government. Like that's it. Like yeah. <laughs> when, when, he, when he gets the little thing that the, the locket, that the, the, the computer thing is inside. My first thought was drink your Ovaltine. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, th th this is, it's funny. I was, when I was I in my review of bullet train, which is out on the wrap, I talked about how it, it's to me, it reminded me of all of those post uh, Reservoir Dogs and mm -hmm. Pulp Fiction shitty indies of the late 90s or things to do in Denver when you're dead where everybody thought oh I can make a movie where people drop pop culture references and you know shoot each other a lot and um, and I'm realizing that as as the, those two movies led to such awful imitators and now we're currently in a period, I think, where uh, the Deadpool movies are mm. spawning a lot of shitty imitators. The director of Deadpool 2, by the way, did Bullet Train. Yeah. So he's part of the problem himself. But yeah, <laughs> I feel like, I, I think that, that what worked in in Deadpool and to a lesser extent in Deadpool 2 has just become the norm now. And it's like, I'm, I'm tired of the quippy, violent movies. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting a little tired of Ryan Reynolds, but that's another story. Um, he's I, not in The Gray he's Man. Not in, he's not in either. He's not, <laughs> he's not in The Gray Man. He's 
anyway uh <laughs> but it's but it's that it's that same style of smarm which can be fun i did right. like the deadpool movies but it's like if this is we're gonna get this over and over again it's like oh, no i need uh, something new on the jukebox please right also i can see the allure of this for chris evans right especially in reuniting with with the russos who sure. did two of the captain americas and two of the avengers yeah like i can see why in playing Captain America for these guys for so long, who is so noble and so good always yes. to play somebody duplicitous and like, as they say, sociopathic. And, you know, that would a be a lot of smacking villain. Right. Like I wish, I wish that they gave him a, a more interesting villain to play. Like yeah. he wears really tight shirts and has a bad mustache. And I guess this is meant to be a character trait that he speaks in really like ear clanging malapropisms. Cause at one point he says, maybe it's just bad writing. When one point <laughs> he says like, let's hit this meatball like a freight train. I'm like, oh, what does that even mean? <laughs> or like he, and then one point he says, he's looking at the monitors when they're trying to surveil Ryan Gosling and say, this clown is a sitting duck. Like, is, the, is that meant to be a character trait that he's not as smart as he thinks he is and speaks it, in mixed metaphors? Like, if it's a joke, it doesn't land. And when, and the, when he, when he references Ryan Gosling is a Ken doll. It's like, oh, could we so not? So cute. Oh, it's so could cute because because he's Ken. Because he's going to be Ken. Get it? Ana de Armas does not get to do a whole lot here. I mean, no. she gets to kick some ass, but it's a very stoic role. How do you suit. make How do you make Regay Jean Page boring? This, this movie. This movie has the trick. <laughs> this is impressive. Like if, if this accomplishes anything, it, it accomplishes the impressive feat of making Regage on page boring. I don't know how you yeah. do it. Um, and it does all the globe trotting of like, now we're in Bangkok and now we're in Baku and now we're in Croatia and now we're back at Langley. And like, they all essentially look the same. Like there's no yes. great discernment as to the globe trotting. Oh, and Julia Butters pops up mm -hmm. as the girl, the little, the, the girl with the pacemaker that Ryan Gosling winds up having to take care of. And I'm like, this movie and Thor Love and Thunder end with the hero now, like, taking care of a small child. And I'm thinking, like, it, does the child get a say in this? Could they not <laughs> do better than these clowns? Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what that's about. I don't know why this is a trope now. But, yeah, this, this movie just got on my nerves and stayed there <laughs> well i'm saying two this got on my nerves as well uh i i said three uh but it's but it's yeah no don't bother it's on netflix it's like trending super high on netflix oh, yeah. and i can see why you know it's like sitting there and it's got 200 million dollar budget and uh Here, but, go ahead just no, as a, a thing to always remember whenever you see a cast you think oh with these people in it how bad can it be there is an answer to that question and you're not going to like it it can be that bad. 